Uh, I got my next two questions. The first question is going to enlighten and serve a new real estate investor that has never done a deal before. The question right after that is going to be for our seasoned investors, real estate investors that have done many deals. All right. Okay. So I love it. I love it. Let's do it. The question for the newbie that's never done a deal before. In your experience, Cody, and you got a lot of experience, you got a lot of students' experiences. What's the best advice that you can give for a brand new real estate investor that's never done a deal before? Holy smokes. First and foremost, quickly, and I'll go to the real point of this. If everyone's going this way, go that way. There's something going on in our world today where everyone thinks, go to college, go to college, get an education, invest in 401k. If they're doing that and everyone's doing that, ah, I'm the one to say against the contrary, like, no, 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 no. Invest in yourself. Don't invest in that trillion dollars worth of national debt we have in student loans. Invest in you first and foremost. And that's scary because our school systems does not teach you to invest in you, nor does it teach you to be an entrepreneur and know that you can do this. So first and foremost, Everyone has the potential. Not everyone will, but everyone has the potential to be an entrepreneur and own their own business. And it's simple. It's simple, simple, simple. It is surrounding yourself with better people. Jim Rohn says you're the average of the five closest individuals you hang out with. It's time to level up. If your best contact goes to the bar every weekend, it's time to find a new circle. If if your best, if you are the smartest person in your circle, it's probably a time to say we need to level up. Now, it's not to say forget about your circles. It's not to say forget about your friends or your family. But if you want to be able to be a, a spiritual individual in life, Jim Rohn's not simply saying go hang out with other people that want to be spiritual. He's saying go to people that are already spiritual, that are already at the destination that you want to be at. Go surround yourself with them. You're going to see they live principles that you don't live. And as you live those principles, the likelihood of you becoming that person becomes a reality. And so think of that in every hour of your life. If you want to be a successful wholesaler, don't hang out with your neighbor. Most likely they're going to say, are you kidding me? In 2008, did you see what happened? You're nuts. Why would you get into this industry? Don't hang around the naysayers, hang around the yaysayers, hang around with people that are actually doing it. So go to a wholesaler and say, man, you're successful. Start hanging out with them, find out what you can do with them, add value to their life. But start making your sure whoever whatever you want to be, whether that's fitness, whether that's spiritual, whether that's a better dad, whether that's a better em employee, make sure you're lit you're you're surrounding yourself with the people that are already at the destination. So you can start to see the principles that they're living. Start living those principles, and you'll see that you too can become that individual quickly if you will surround yourself with them. So that's my biggest, biggest one. I love Jim Rohn. Yeah, I love Jim Rohn too. I mean, he's like one of the fathers, if not the father of personal development. Now, moving on to, by the way, I love the answer. I mean, you know, uh, we got to take inventory of where we're spending our time and who we're spending our time with. I mean, you know, uh, Carol, Joy, and I, we've got great friends at church, uh, great people. Uh, I'm thinking of some in particular that are, I mean, great spiritual faith. And, and and they're some of our best friends because of the spiritual component. Are they going to help me on the on the road to uh, wealth and freedom? No, because they're not in that mindset. That doesn't mean that they're still not great friends of mine on the spiritual end. However, I've got other friends such as Cody and Tom and some other folks that I can mention that not only have the spiritual aspect, but also have the wealth and freedom aspect as well. So as Cody just said, ask yourself, and be honest, where and who am I spending most of my time with? Now, let's move on to the seasoned investor for a moment. Now, by the way, the newbies of you, don't check out on us right here because you're going to want <laughs> to this question as well. 